Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. We're live a little bit early today because we are icing three dozen cookies and I need to meal prep tonight. So I, I want to be done by like 4 p.m. That's why we're live a little bit early. Yeah, second cam is back. I kind of fixed the color correction so it looks a little bit better. But yeah. I'm going to take this mat away underneath it. Okay, so. As usual, today is the last day of baking, the last day in the Meg Esports Million Dollar Kitchen. <laughs> um, today we're icing cookies, and since I am not baking but decorating for a mass amount of people, I will be wearing gloves and a mask just to be extra safe. Um, so I just have regular store-bought cookies. They're sugar cookies. And then I have basically every type of sprinkle I could find at the store. Um, so I think what I wanted to do for all the cookies is, since they're circular, I wanted to do like a ring pattern with sprinkles and then put like peppermint in the center because we have leftover crushed peppermints from yesterday's cake pops. Um, I'm gonna decorate on the 24th. Uh, that's tomorrow. I have, an, I have a few things we're gonna do tomorrow. I don't wanna leak them all. It's just, you know, your normal Christmas stuff. Uh, yeah. Oh, I was so annoyed at my sister last night because when I was telling her, I was like, oh, I got the cake, cake pops done. You wanna try one? She's like, sure. And she's like, why did you make them today? I was like, well, you're bringing them in on Friday, right? And... And she's like, no, I'm bringing them in next week. And I was like, what? Because so, her birthday is a few days after Christmas. So she's like, I told my manager I was going to bring in cake pops for my birthday. And then cookies for Christmas. I was like, oh. So, okay, cake pops are good for like up to three weeks in the fridge. So they're fine in the fridge. But I didn't have to fucking rush and get them done. I, <laughs> so... It's fine. We're good. But I was still annoyed as hell. <laughs> so, either way, I have to get the cookies done today. Which was the plan. We have 36 cookies. Uh, it's probably going to take 15 minutes per. So, for an hour. Nine hours? Screw that. <laughs> That's why I, I you'll see the design I have planned. It's going to be somewhat simplistic, but it's still going to be like kind of detailed. So... My goal is to get done in five hours. That's my goal. I'm not willing to go more for six. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We might have to crush more peppermint. That's why I'm grabbing more bags. I think I have everything I need. I'm gonna wash hands. So today, kind of like the cake pop days, is gonna be chill. You know, chat, spam, whatever to keep you guys occupied. We do have the second cam today. package the cookies as well so I think I'll ice three and then package because I have to wait for the icing to fully set before I bag them 
Oh, well, these smell really good. Wow, it looks really washed out on cam. <laughs> the next time I wash hands, I'll color correct a little bit more. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to ice the cookie fully, and then I'm going to do a ring along the border, and then sprinkle the rest of the peppermint dust. That way it's kind of Christmassy, right? Okay, we're going to massage our icing. Is this eastward? Yes. Okay. So I have about like a quarter inch border. Now I think we're gonna stick with like Christmassy colors, so reds and greens. I have a bunch of shapes. I have stars, I have flowers and circles, I have hearts. I think I'll do circles for this first one. I also sanitize, I'm using tweezers. I sanitized them before I started today, so don't worry. my glove in the icing. I'm good though. We're good. If you're a small streamer, I'd recommend you turn follow alerts off. Because as of recent, whenever I'm in just chatting, I always get some sus followers with like inappropriate usernames. I got one yesterday because they followed and then instantly unfollowed and their username, I reported them, but they had like, it wasn't a slur, but it's like slang for saying um, a group of people and I was like oh it's a good thing I didn't have that on screen or in chat hi lemon welcome in and like that's also why I have 10 minute mode on that way people can't instantly chat that way we can just avoid any type of negative I guess interaction to any degree so yeah because I didn't have time to, like, look up what the... Because anytime I get a new follow, I always Google the username. Just to see if it's sus or not. Because, like, I don't know all the slurs. Or I don't know all the slang. And I looked it up this morning, and it was a... It was a bad word. And I was like, oh, nice. 
I wish I had tiny red pearls. I'm gonna go check if I have them. I'm making cookies for everybody. Shirley. These sprinkle tops are so dumb. They're so hard to like get the sprinkles back in. Got them all. Can I have five? Uh, it'll be two bucks each. So ten bucks? Can we call it a deal? I mean, two bucks is like not enough. Because <laughs> I see so much people, so many people online undervaluing their work. Especially with like artist commissions because a lot of people feel okay the icing is already setting That oh nobody will buy my art if it's too expensive, but you should charge at least like At least minimum wage for your work like if a sketch takes you an hour charge like ten dollars at least because I see people post like fully rendered sketches or illustrations and it's like, oh, commissions, five dollars for works that takes them like two hours. And it's like, honey, you need to charge more. <laughs> Don't listen to the haters. You should never undervalue yourself, especially if you're making your own prices. I'll buy 10? Sounds good. I mean, if I ever can do something in person, I would definitely, like, prep goodies for everybody. I think that'd be fun. Because I love when people do meetups and they have, like, something to give away to whoever who comes, like, it'd be merch or something. I feel like that'd go crazy. Food safe, of course? Yeah, of course. Surely. I would never get everybody sick. Aha. Okay, now let's put the peppermint on. I kind of want to use the bigger pieces that I had from yesterday. That way they don't fall off in transit.
It's actually adorable. Like, it's, it's a simple design. But it's cute. Hi, Potato. Welcome in, hon. I need to get another ladder. Next cookie, cookie one done. That took a little under 10 minutes. Not bad. We're on pace. I think we'll do most of the cookies that type of design, but different colors. Okay, I'm gonna get the sprinkles ready. I'll probably do like four of each color. I'll do like four red, four green, and then rotate. That way you don't have to keep switching up the colors all the time. And not waste my time. Okay, cookie number two. Cap came out. Okay, this icing isn't as like <laughs> nice because the cookie was more rigid but it's okay it's fine okay i gotta work quickly Has everybody filled out the naughty or nice quiz? It is due tomorrow.
I'm so glad with like how many submissions I got. Um, I think I got 22, which is a lot for like someone my size. Like that's a lot of people taking the time to complete it. So thank you everybody who has so far. And if you haven't, make sure you do it tonight. Because submissions close tomorrow. Can we have our red done? Cookies? Aren't you making some, Mac? Oh, on Christmas Day? Oh, okay. Gotcha. Only two days away. And chatters, we are 30 minutes into stream. So it's time for me to tell you if you're new here, follow the channel. You get to tap in chat and you get cool emotes. And if you're already following, make sure you have notifications turned on. That way you get a ping for when I go live, kind of like today where I went live a little bit early. So make sure you have the bell turned on. <laughs> Your mom don't want nobody in the kitchen. <laughs> it's funny because like my mom will ask for help in the kitchen. And then we'll be in there to help, but we aren't good enough help, so she'll be like, oh, just leave. Dude, this is so hard to grab. See, my mom used to say that, oh, if I die, the recipes die with me, but we have a recipe book. So, easy. <laughs> Don't gotta worry about that no more. Final circle. Done. Yeah, I don't get the people who can eyeball recipes. Or when they cook, I think it's crazy. I mean, it just requires skill, right? I can never see myself cooking like that. The only time I eyeball is when I do, like, seasoning. Because then you can always taste. like teeth. Okay, cookie number two done. Okay, 
Okay, this one should be a bit cleaner because it's more circular. And it's not as, like, rigid. Okay, that one was done in 10 minutes. Good time. Okay, that run was decent. It'd be cool if I could use both hands to tweeze. I'd love to be ambidextrous. I can multiply my productivity by two. Just like just my left hand sitting here doing nothing. Just like all the little zoomers I work on their phones all day. I usually use both my hands. It's just I can't do like fine or finer movements with my left. So I, I can't like manipulate it as well. These are some shitty tweezers. They aren't because you know when you like Pinch a tweezer, it kind of bounces back. This one doesn't really bounce back. It's not as like... You have to press really hard to get a good grip. I feel like they don't make products as good as they used to. Everything seems so cheap nowadays. It's almost like they're, everything's designed to last for two years and then breaks. So you gotta buy a new one. Just like my parents. Well, I am technically old. In your guys' eyes. 23. I'm almost 30. First round of circles done. I'll try and use these metallic pearls.
It does sound like Pac-Man, yeah? You are right. Like the doo -doo 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 sound. I don't know why, but my left hand is cramping up. I think it's because I'm... I'm volleying it in, in my hand. Like, I'm making a fist. Unnecessarily. Okay, time for peppermint. This is probably Arnie Strong. True. <laughs> I need to start using Lefty more. <laughs> okay, cookie number three done. That was seven minutes. Damn, I'm getting quick. I'm speed running. I haven't gammoned in so long, I know. I've been thinking about what I want to do for like next week. I'm debating if I want to take like a week off. Even though I took a week off from moving, but that doesn't really count in my opinion. Um because I feel like not many people Well, people are gonna have winter break, right? I might be busy on the day after Christmas because that's my friend's birthday and then my sister's birthday is Tuesday so maybe instead of doing the normal 3d schedule since I haven't done the bonus streams yet we can do three streams of the bonus games because we had um, monkey ball Fortnite, and then Odyssey for bonus streams so maybe we can do that. Oh my god, are they twins? Is your friend actually my sister? Uh-oh. That'd be weird. That would be weird, though. <laughs> like, imagine. I mean, I don't think my sister has many online friends anyway. Because we do reside in Washington. You know how when you go on Instagram or TikTok and you post to your story and they have filters that show, like, your location? Where it'll be like Malibu and it'll have, like, an overlay with, like, palm trees or something? I always found those so weird. 
Because I've never liked the idea of, like, posting my location, like, ever. Even in, like, high school and stuff. Because in my head, even if my account was private, people could still repost it and stuff. If they really wanted to. Or if there was a kid who hated me at school, they would know where I am. Yeah, I know Snapchat does as well. That's why, like, I'm kind of scared for, like, you know, the now content? Where you're like, oh, you have to post a photo now. Like, if anybody has an online platform at all, I'd recommend just not doing it. Because you don't want to leak where you are. Like, you don't want to leak where, like, your hometown is based on where you're eating. Because... I'm going to self-report, but I have the type of brain where, like... I don't... If I was, like... <laughs> Less, if I was more on the edge, I'd probably be like, like, I'd be crazy. Cause like, it's so easy to like, cyber stalk people online. It's genuinely so easy to. I don't. Cause I understand that's not like, a healthy way to view things. Or see people. But just be mindful of what you post online. Yeah, like, getting my parents cancelled. It, it's... <laughs> I think it's funny. Like, how on, P on Facebook people put, like, their workplace. Or their school. Like, once I graduated, I, I basically cleared my whole profile. And everything's private. So. It shouldn't leak anything. I don't want them to lose their jobs, yeah. Because, like, all it takes is for you to say something stupid on Facebook and then the internet will, like, burn you at the stake. Hi, hacker. People, hey. Oh, now it's 11. Okay, so we're live at the normal time. I went live a bit early today so I could get a head start. Okay, number four, that took a little over six minutes, not bad.
That one came out like perfect. Sprinkle just flew onto my keyboard. R.I.P. I'm so excited for tomorrow's stream, though. The past few days feel like filler episodes. And then tomorrow's gonna be, like, the finale. I'm so excited. I'm gonna, like, report all- not report. <laughs> but snitch on all of you guys. Because <laughs> the main premise for tomorrow is we're gonna be looking at chatters' logs and determining if they've been good or bad chatters. So I'm excited. But I also, I'm kind of worried. I don't want people to feel bad, because obviously it's all going to be in good fun. But I don't want anybody's feelings to get hurt. Because, like, I will goof and gaff. I will go harder on some people. I might label some people as naughty. You're excited for Christmas? Nice. I don't think we're gonna do anything. I think my sister and I are just gonna stay home. Maybe see if there's like a restaurant open nearby or something. Because since her birthday's a few days after Christmas, it just kind of like blends together. took me like three hours to do five cookies. Ah, uh, good times. I think what I'm gonna miss most from the kitchen streams is being able to wear the mask. Cause I feel so much more comfortable wearing it. I don't know. I feel like less pressure to, I guess, be extra. I mean, you could all the time, yeah, but it wouldn't be good. I don't want to, like, rely on it, I guess. Because, like, for streaming, in order to be popular, people have to know who you are, basically. And that's just how it is. Hey, 
cookie number five. That one took... I started at... Ooh, five minutes. Holy. I'm so good. Okay. I need to see... Let's get a look at these. Official on holiday? Not. Welcome, Deacon. Hope your day is going well. Okay. So, I think now, because this first cookie's been set in for about 20 minutes, so it should be ready to package. I just can't stack them. Um, type one if you would eat my cookies. Dude, I'm so scared. Are you selling them? No, this is for my sister's potluck at work. One cookie done. <laughs> okay. You have to be careful. Because even though the icing is... Oh, see, I already pressed it in. Ow. See? The one's on the bottom. Shit. Yeah. They're probably gonna have to set for like an hour. Okay. Well, I'm gonna need more plates. I actually have a tray in here. It's almost time to wash hands anyway, so. I know. I gotta dry it a little bit. <laughs> and you're watching a Twitch stream? Dude, literal iPad kid. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Okay, so we're gonna have to let the cookies set for a while. A long while. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. So, chatters, we are an hour into stream. So it's basically time for me to run an ad if you want to avoid that ad. I gotta do subscribe for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing all month long. Or... You can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. After the ad, we're going to keep on working. We have 31 more cookies to go. We got five done in about 45 minutes, so getting there. Let's see, 31 times 8, 240 divided by 6, 4. I think I can get this done in five hours. My goal is five hours. Total. Total. 2 out of 10? Come on. Come on. Okay, so if you want to avoid that ad, subscribe. Easy clap. I just uploaded a new TikTok, so if you have to watch that ad, no problem. Go watch it. Go like it. Leave a comment. I'd appreciate it. Okay. Non-subs get boomed. I'm gonna wash hands, and I'll get back to decorating. 1 out of 20? Dude. Come on. Get back to work.
Gotta go? Okay. Enjoy the rest of your day, Deacon. Thank you for hanging out and saying hi. Hour away from home still? Damn, I hate that. You guys are so cute saying hi and bye to each other. It's adorable. In a good way. Okay, next cookie. Okay, right now starting at 59. My target is five minutes a cookie. enough icing. So I've gone through maybe half this pack. Oh, so that means one pack is probably ten cookies. I'm good. I have four packs of icing. I'm good. Everybody watching right now can check out the pin message. Make sure you have filled out the naughty or nice quiz. We will be reviewing it on stream tomorrow. And if you don't fill it out, you're automatically a naughty chatter. So see if you filled it out. <laughs> I've been looking at some of the results for because I can see like cumulative results and then individual results. And some people's answers are. Interesting, you could say. Now I'm curious. I mean, you'll see tomorrow. bad recently because I'm trying to fix my sleep schedule because you know how you're supposed to not have screen time for like an hour or two before you go to bed I still can't do that because it takes me a while to fall asleep so I'm kind of like trading myself to not have screens on past like 7 p.m. so I told myself no engaging content past 7 so no stream content, no like social media, stuff where I have to like, I guess think about what I'm consuming. So then I'll, I can like watch a video or put on a show. Cause that is something you could just like, I guess consume in the background. 
and not have to like worry too much or think too much. You could say brain numbing content is what I watch past seven. Yeah, cause like, I'm trying to like be in bed by nine. That way I fall asleep by 10. Cause apparently I did one of those sleep tracker apps and I wake up every hour when I sleep. And that's not good. <laughs> But I don't, re like, remember waking up. So I might have to do, like, a sleep study... ...next year. I just don't want to get a CPAP machine. I don't want it. Number six, that took six minutes, not bad. Okay, I think I want to switch up colors. So if I have 36 cookies, I can do like six different color schemes. Let's do green next. Okay, 107.
Dude, this one's iced perfectly. Look at that. Perfect. Should I go pro? Try the other tweezer.
He, the green doesn't show up as well on camera. I'll show it on the nicer one. I think the red ones look better because it stands out more against the white. The green looks more dainty. I am Okay, that's seven cookies done. A lot of these cookies aren't fully flat, so the icing keeps dripping, but it's okay. Yeah, I'm getting like faster though. Oh, this is like the final boss fight music, I think. Welcome back, Lemon. I still think Eastwood has like the best game music ever. I think nothing will beat it. Oh yeah, this is the final fight.
Yeah, the icing is pooling too much on this one. I put a tad too much icing. I have to go, Sage. Bye, Mac. Have fun at the mall. We'll see you later, hon. Another cookie done. Okay, I need to put a lot less icing on. I think this one is actually perfect. That's genuinely a perfect one. The trick is, when you put the icing on, you put a very thin stream. Easy.
I think this might be the best cookie I've done today. It's literally perfect. The icing, the sprinkle placement. Perfection. I'm gonna sew it on the nice cam. This one is actually perfect. Yeah, that one came out really nice. Oh! <laughs> I broke it. Damn. That was bound to happen at some point. Sad day. We have our share of W's and then some L's, I guess. Talking about W's, if you want to be a W chatter, all you gotta do is follow the channel if you're new here. And if you're already following, make sure notifications turn on, because we are an hour and a half into stream. If you follow, you get cool emotes. Wowie. Okay, my goal is five minutes. So 129.45.
Angie, welcome in. Can we get some peace ideas for Angie? It's going pretty well so far. I have... This is cookie number 10. So a little over... Or a little under a third of the way done. <laughs> but this cookie is like... Nearly as perfect as the one I just did, so... And I'm getting faster. On track to get this done within five minutes. Right now we're at four minutes. There we go. Done. That was four minutes. Damn, new PV. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, am I gonna beat my PV of four minutes? That's gonna be difficult. Anybody think I can make three minutes? What are the cookies for? My sister has a potluck at work tomorrow. So... I think... The strat is... I'm gonna make these really pretty cookies for the potluck, right? And then maybe... Maybe one of her co-workers will be like, Hey, you wanna decorate some cookies for me in the future? And I'll be like, sure. I'm playing the long con. Yeah, because I feel like most people for potlucks, they bring in like a platter and call it a day, but... My family, we're extra. We gotta one-up everybody, you know? Yeah, I... I, I, I'm different about casseroles. I feel like they're kind of like hard to serve at a potluck, right? I like the stuff that's like individually portioned. That way it's just grab and go. Cause like even pre-pandemic, I was kind of like icky to the idea of like touching a utensil that everybody else touched. Like I went to a buffet recently and it took a lot of courage. <laughs> It was hard not to, like, psych myself out the whole time. But before I, like, sat down to eat, I washed my hands. And my sister was making fun of me, but I was like, dude, like, there's probably, like, possibly hundreds of people here, because it was a big-ass buffet. Like, possibly, like, tens of people touched that handle. I was like, I'm washing my freaking hands. Is there a reason you're wearing masks? Yes. Because my sister's workplace, she works in a factory. Um, exclamation mask in chat. Uh, chat or somebody do it. Um, so she has literally hundreds of co-workers. So it's just to be extra safe. Thank you. Uh, that's why I have gloves on as well. Because like, I've worked in food service before and I think all food service workers should wear a mask. Because like when you talk, you kind of spit a little bit, right? But the mask kind of like helps mitigate or it blocks the spit from spraying when you talk. And like, especially since I'm working so close to the cookie. It's just to be like extra cautious. Because I would feel very bad if I'm like unknowingly sick or something and then we got everybody at work sick. That'd be very bad. Because, like, if you ever go to a subway, like the restaurant, and you look at their glass pane, all those little speckles, that's spit. <laughs> so, I just try to be mindful, especially if I'm cooking for other people. Like, if I'm cooking for myself at home, like, I don't wash my hands as much as I should, but, you know, germs in the household will stay in the household. Thank you for asking. I 
You know, definitely. I know mask wearing isn't as common now because it's not required. But definitely if I'm cooking for people, I'll wear a mask. No steak ASMR today? No, not today. Welcome in, Crystal. We're only gonna play a video as I work if it's something boring, like packaging. That's boring. But this, you're getting some... S some visual. I'm gonna change the camera angle next ad break time. Because the green isn't showing up on camera. Like, it looks gray. One day we'll get a nice... DSLR for second cam. Copium one day. I think this is Kirby. I think Kirby music is the second best game music. After Eastward. I knew it. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Because I haven't played many Kirby games, but the music is so good. Hey, next cookie done. I'm doing pretty good on time. Yeah, Sonic music does go crazy. I think... Because I have a playlist of different game music compilations for stream, and I think the Sonic one is, like, definitely top three. I know I definitely lean towards Mario, but if I played more Kirby games when I was younger, I probably would have liked Kirby more. It's just my mom would never buy them because she would only buy games that both my sister and I would like. And I would want Kirby, but she wouldn't want it, so I never got to play it till... I think my first ever Kirby game was Forgotten Land. I played a little bit of Star Allies on stream, but it's kind of boring, not gonna lie. I returned it last week. <laughs> I think it's because I don't really like platformers, like side-scrollers. I think it's because when I started gaming, I had, or I played more, like, open world stuff. The thing I do like about platformers is that it's really rewarding when you learn the timing. For, like, a section or a jump. It always makes me feel good whenever I finally nail it. Kirby games are more fun when you play so with someone? Yeah, I, I can imagine. My sister wouldn't even play Super Mario 3D World with me, and I was sad. She barely wanted to play the first level. I think it's because when we were little, we played um, Super Mario Brothers on the Wii. And I would be so bad, and she'd be just like, zooming ahead. So I'd be in the bubble the whole time. I definitely like watching her play games, though. 
because she's somewhat decent. But she's not good at puzzles, and it's very frustrating watching her do puzzles, because she will try the same thing over and over again. Like, I was watching her play Breath of the Wild, I think last year, and I was trying my best not to tell her the solution to the puzzle. But she kept on trying the same thing, and it didn't work, and she tried it for like 20 minutes doing the same thing. And I was losing my mind. Yeah, she would do that all the time to me too, like pick me up and throw me. I would get so mad. It's evil when people do that. Uh-oh, it's the wrong piece. There's this one Kirby sweatshirt I see all the time at like anime merch stores. Or, like, at Hot Topic and stuff. Because I think at my local malls, we have, like, a place called Lunchbox or something. And they have a bunch of, like, Disney merch, anime merch. And I always see this one Kirby sweatshirt. But they never have it in my size. It's always, like, way too big. Because, <laughs> like, for sweatshirts, they're supposed to have, like, a bigger fit. But since it's always out of stock, they only have like a 3XL. Which I am max in 1XL, okay? I'm max 1XL. Because I went with my friend one time and they are like, Oh, I'll buy for you. I'm like, no. I do not need a 3XL. It's literally to my knees. Yeah, I want to start collecting plushies too, but... I know once I start, I'll never stop and... I'm just not gonna start. You know, my wallet can't afford it. I don't want people to come into my room and think I'm a child. I, I saw a TikTok this morning that was talking about adults who buy like toys or collectibles. And their main point was that a lot of people who buy like plushed animals or dolls or that type of thing as an adult they choose to do it is because they probably weren't allowed to when they're younger, so it's like healing your inner child. And I was like, oh, that's so cute. And that's kind of how my sister is. She wants to start making like Barbie clothes. So I'm hope I'm hoping she can launch that in like spring or summer of next year. Because she and I have been working on like fashion illustrations. I forgot what they were called. And like looking at like models and designs that we kind of like. So hopefully next year we can launch that. So I was telling her, I think that would do decent as like a TikTok livestream content. Because she wouldn't necessarily need to show her face. But I think that would go crazy on TikTok. <laughs> Once Meggy Sports actually becomes a Mega Million Corp, then you can start collecting. True. I'll just embezzle all my funds and buy merch. Easy. <laughs> Guys, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Jokes. I would never do such fraud. Next cookie done.
Okay, we have a dozen cookies done. So we are a third of the way through, hour 45. Probably gonna take six hours. <laughs> uh, what did I get myself into? I'm crazy. It's because at the store they don't sell a dozen pack of cookies, they only sell an 18 count. Which, why do they do that? If they would have sold dozen packs, they would have only made two dozen. Oh, I just remembered, I broke a cookie earlier, so we're only making 35, yay. What happens if you don't finish your test? Do you just get dinged the points? See, I think it's it's different if like just one student doesn't finish. Then it's probably like operator error. You could say it, but if it's like multiple kids don't finish, then that's probably like the test design, right? I just realized. I already did six green ones. That's fine, we'll do one more green one. I think I'll make a dozen of each color scheme because I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna do 12 green, 12 red, and 12 white. Most of the tests for my college is that they're not necessarily timed, but they do keep track of how long it takes you to finish because it's all online. But um, how most of the professors do it is that it's only open for like an eight hour window. So you can't like do the test halfway through the week. And it's actually kind of nice because it kind of forces you to like study throughout the week. That doesn't mean I do any better, because, like, the class I just had was, I think, physical science. Oh, I'm majoring in graphic design. And I think it's kind of silly that I had to take a physical science class, but it's, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> and I think I got, like, a B- minus in the class, because I just kept on failing the test. I would get, like, an 80 or 70. And, of course, tests are weighted more, so it just brought my grade down. It's kind of big said, but, you know, it's okay. I just have to maintain B's and then I'm solid. Because I have to get my GPA up. Because I, I thought, you know, D for diploma, lamau, but that's not true. I need to raise my GPA. <laughs> uh, what do you learn in Infotech? Because I know graphic design, like, it primarily focuses on, like, the more... Like, the visual aesthetics and then also, like, the utility of redesign. Like, how easy is it to read. I definitely think graphic design is, like, one of the more versatile. Because it can be used, like, at any company. Oh, so it's kind of like cybersecurity. That's interesting. I feel like that's going to be, like, a really... ...necessary job in the upcoming years. So you could become a hacker? <laughs> I 
Ethical hacking. Of course, of course. <laughs> Yeah, because I, I first did computer animation, and then I switched to graphic design, because computer animation was, like, coding almost, and I didn't like it. Because I wanted to do just, like, the art side of it, I guess. But I didn't want to, like, major in digital art. Because <laughs> I don't know how seriously employers would take me. That's why I think graphic design is, like, the most universal degree I could have chosen. That's still kind of artsy. I think the biggest thing that I learned overall is that you have to make sure that your work is like cohesively a good design. Like you can't put too much detail into one section or you can't have one part be lacking. You have to make sure every part of your design is done with intent and meaning. Another cookie done. Are these cookies for the potluck? Yes, they are. Welcome in, Kobobu. Oh, I said it earlier, but I'm still fucking annoying my sister. Because we spent the last two days making cake pops, right? So apparently... She told her manager that she's bringing in cake pops for her birthday next week, but cookies tomorrow. So I didn't have to make the fucking cake pops yesterday. But it's fine. Cake pops are good for like three weeks in the fridge, so it's fine. It's, they're not going to spoil. But I was so mad because like I was rushing to get it done in time. But the cake pops turned out really good, and she tried one and said they were delicious. I have pictures up on my Twitter. But the only issue is that it's going to take up room in the fridge for, like, until Tuesday now. Which is fine, but it takes up, like, a whole shell to... K-pops last a week, how? Um, it depends on if they're stored properly, because it have room temp. Because since it's baked, um, and like, since the cake pop is like, or the actual cake is encased in chocolate, um, as long as it's like individually packaged or like covered with saran wrap or vacuum sealed, they can be good for weeks at room temp in the fridge. They're basically good indefinitely in the freezer, as long as it's stored properly. It's because everything that would have been raw, so like the eggs or milk, would have been cooked through in the oven. It's crazy, huh? I thought they would spoil after like two days, but apparently they're good for longer. That's why I was like annoyed at her, but then I looked it up. I was like, oh, it's good for literally weeks. Because like, I think... Thinking about cost of everything... Because the chocolate alone, because I, I used like eight bags. Each bag was like $3, so $24 worth of chocolate. Oh my god. And then four boxes of cake mix, so about a about dollar each. So a little under 30, okay, 30 bucks ain't bad. Honestly, not bad. But that was 10 hours of work. So. Yeah, I have, I individually packaged them, and they're in the fridge, so they're good. Be good. Because, like, everything I keep in my fridge, I keep in, like, a, a bag or a vacuum-sealed container. Because the issue is 
if you keep, like, for example, meat in a container that's not fully sealed, then the vapors will, like, fly around in your fridge. And by vapors, I mean, like, the germs and stuff. And because of that, it, it could spoil everything that's in your fridge. So that's why whenever I get takeout, I don't usually keep it on the takeout box. I usually put it into, like, a Tupperware or something. Yeah, because, like, I had no idea that's how, like, diseases could spread in your fridge. That's why, like, now that I have, like, full control of the kitchen, I use bags, I use Tupperwares. And I haven't gotten sick yet. It's been a month. Nobody's gotten sick. Yay. Just, like, back at my mom's house, there was, like... She did not serve food properly, is what I'll say. <laughs> I mean, granted, we didn't get sick often. Oh, is Pyrex the brand? I have, like, glass Tupperwares that have, like, the plastic locking lids. Because the glass is just easier to wash. I know the plastic ones are cheaper, but... I always go for things that are, like, more efficient or easier. Yeah, exactly. Because I think the ones I bought were, like, microwave and oven safe. Because, like, since uh, my sister's covering my rent, I'm basically doing, like, all the kitchen work, all the housework, and all the food prep. So I prep, like, everybody's dinners and lunches. I think tonight I'm making enchiladas, so that'll be fun. The hardest thing... Ever since the movie's like figuring out what to cook. Cause like my roommates, they aren't helpful at all. I'm like, oh what do you guys want to eat? And they're like, I don't know. Like the like a few weekends ago, I just Googled like what are the top recipes in the US. And I read through a list of like 50 things. Just to like give them ideas. And they were they only like like two things I read from the list. And I was like, oh my fucking god. I can't. Do you guys all eat together? Usually. Because we have the TV next to the dining room, so we all watch, we all watch, we all like watch a show or a movie or something. Ooh, butternut squash soup, that sounds good. But the problem is my roommates are really fucking picky. And by that I mean just my sister. She is so hard to please. <laughs> But my other roommates are pretty chill. Like, they'll eat literally anything. It's just her that is, like, holding me back. But it's something that I'll learn how to navigate over time. You know, it's only month one, so... I feel like I've adjusted pretty well. Like, I haven't had anything too crazy happen with the roommates yet, so... I don't have any crazy... ...stories. Does she only eat chicken nuggies? No. She's better than that. But she doesn't eat vegetables. She's very, like, particular about certain textures, which I can respect. I'm picky, too. But if something isn't seasoned right, then she won't eat it. So I, I'm trying my best to learn how to season properly. Another cookie done. Let's see. We have... 8 plus 6, 14 cookies done. Pretty good for 2 hours. That means 7 an hour. A little under... About 8 minutes per cookie. That's not bad. Not bad. Okay, chatters, you know what time it is. We are 2 hours in the stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. So if you want to avoid that ad, all you gotta do is subscribe. For $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad previewing all month long. If you have to watch that ad, no problem. Click the pinned message in chat and fill out that naughty or nice quiz. It will be used on stream tomorrow. Um, gentle reminder, get some water, get a snack. We will see some of you guys in a few. Did you guys like how I, like, quote tweeted during the live to show, like, progress pics, or was that cringe?
The red cookies look so good. Like, genuinely. Okay, new tweet, new tweet. Go like it, go like it. I'd appreciate it. Okay, I'm gonna fiddle with the camera a little bit. I think I want to make it, like, a little bit darker. I made it like a tad darker. Okay, wash hands. Almost done with box number one of cookies. today. Dude, I bet Emmy is loving these dreams. I know she loves sweets. Yeah, I agree. I will always choose sweet over salty. The only thing better than that is salty sweet combos. I want to learn how to like season nuts because every time I go to the store, I always see like wasabi peas or I saw like this honey barbecue like nut mix that looks really good, but it was like 10 bucks for like a 20 ounce tin. Okay, that's all the green. We're running out of green. But I need to learn how to do it. I have icing all over the tweezers. <laughs> Dude, imagine how sticky my hands would be if I weren't using gloves. Even when I cook normally, I'll sometimes use gloves, like if I'm touching like, meat directly. I don't have, like, too many sensory issues. Like, I don't get too freaked out, but it does, like... It irks me a little bit if I have, like... 
something slimy or wet on my fingers, it bugs me. Like, when we were mix or mixing the cake pop dough, I don't think I could ever do that without gloves on. Even if I was just, like, baking for myself. Because, you know, I'm at the point in life where I'm going to live in comfort. You know, I'm not going to do things I don't want to do. I don't care if I use an umbrella in the rain. I don't care if I look like a little bitch. I'm going to get wet. Yeah, I agree. I Because, like, I would never think to use gloves. But once I started working in food a few years ago, I was like, I'm never not wearing gloves again when it comes to certain food prep. I agree. Touching raw chicken is not fun at all. What was kind of cool is that, um, because the people who used to live in this unit left a bunch of things here. And they had, like, two boxes of, like, these vinyl gloves. And they're actually pretty good. Because, um, they made a lot of, like, pickled foods, they were telling me, the, the property owners. They would make, like, kimchi and stuff. So that's why they have, like, a boatload of gloves. <laughs> The only thing I don't like about the gloves is that I feel like they dry out my hands a little bit. Along with all the hand washing. Surprisingly, I don't wear gloves when I wash dishes though. Like, you know, the rubber ones? Because I hate when, like, the gloves don't go far enough to your arm to where, like, the water can still leak in. Like, having water in the gloves, oh my god, is the worst. I remember when I worked in food, like, you know the three-part compartment, or the three-compartment sink where it has detergent water and then sanitizer i remember the sanitizer would like burn my hands because i would develop like rashes on my hands and my lower arms and it sucked because there was like nothing i could do about it because like of course you have to wash dishes that's part of the job so for the three years that i worked in food like my hands were just like all fucked up like they were like red all the time it looked like I had hives on my hands, basically. And I remember, like, customers would ask about it. They were like, oh my god, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, it's just the sanitizer. Like, that's the one thing I like about, or I liked about not working. Is that, like, my skin was able to heal. I was able to, like, heal my hair. Because, um, just in general, like, you should always have your hair up when you're prepping food, but I would keep it in like a tight bun. And because of that, it made my hair really brittle. Because when you have like your hair like basically like rubbing it up against itself, like in a tight bun, it kind of gives you more split ends. So I was able to heal my hair, grow out my nails and that type of thing. You're probably allergic to it? Probably. I mean, just in general, like the skin on my hands is really sensitive. Because I remember when I was younger, um, we personally used single-use hand towels in the bathroom. Because what happened when I was little, my parents would use like a towel, like you know, that you hang it on the wall to dry your hands. We did that for a little bit, but then I would develop rashes on my hands. So after that, we used like single-use towels. Because I, I don't have eczema, but... Um, I was showing signs of it when I was younger.
Okay, another cookie done. Two more left in this box. Okay, the oval's kind of crooked. We're just gonna say it's perfect.
get another one done. Done. This one is broken, so it's unservable, which means I'll eat it today. That means we are about halfway through, doing good on time. Get this bags out. So that iced a little under 16 cookies, not bad. Titans. Do you not have notifications turned on? SMH. Well, welcome in. We're about halfway done. Speed running day. You're playing a game though? Okay, valid, valid. I won't grill you too hard. Feeling silly? But not too silly, okay? Gotta keep it tame.
like companies or stores will have like a 50% off sale, 75% off sale. Does that mean the actual cost of the good only cost max 25% of what they're selling it? Because I don't think when they run sales, they're losing money. Because that'd be dumb. Because why would they sell something for less than what it costs to make it? Right? To me, that just shows that companies can be charging a, a lot less than what they are. Because then they'll sell more. But then if they sell more, it wouldn't mitigate the cost of buying the product, right? No, wait, you're, are you saying that they'll sell more, that's why they put the sales? I mean, I know the reason why they do, like, Black Friday sales is so they get, like... It looks like they have increased profit margins at the end of the year. I know that. That's why it's called Black Friday, because the profits will be in the positive for the day. I just want companies to make less money. <laughs> I hate capitalism. Okay, I think I have enough pearls for one more green cookie. Which is perfect, because then we'll have 12 greens. Perfect. Because, like, when they have, like, coupons for food, I mean, granted, food does not cost much to make. Restaurants, you're mainly paying for, like, the labor it takes to make your food. Because usually they can buy in bulk and stuff. But why would they have a coupon to where they'd make less profit? Or not less profit, but not cover the cost of the actual goods. Yeah, I agree. Markups are crazy. That's why when people say, Oh, I hate inflation. I hate our government for causing said inflation. But it's not the government, it's the companies. They ch they choose what they charge. They determine their own profit margins. So if the government was like, hey, actually, for this type of good, like bread, you cannot have this amount of profit margin. You can cap your profit margin. But the reason why they don't pass that legislation, um, uh, it's because big corporate will get mad. They'd be like, how dare you take away my bread profits? I'm using bread, but I'm talking about like oil, cars. It could be anything. I don't know. Because like, you know how um, companies will offer like promo codes, or you'll see your favorite YouTuber or streamer be like, oh, buy this product, get 20% off. Like, they're probably going to get a bump in unique orders, or like unique customers, but they're still making profit. That's why I'm kind of like indifferent about taking sponsorships, because a lot of the sponsorship opportunities that are available to like smaller creators are like things that are considered subscriptions or repeat purchases, so like energy drinks or food meal prep programs because usually you get paid for your time or you get a percentage of whatever sales you make using your code if you think about it if I made even 20 bucks per purchase that company is probably making like 100 to 1000 depending on how long they keep that customer for so I just feel like people who are getting sponsors like that are getting skimped. They're getting scammed. Or like the gotcha games. Like, uh, what you call it? Uh, what's it called? It's the one anime. 
Genshin Impact! Yeah, Raid Shadow. Like the pay to win? Yeah, Genshin. <laughs> I don't play it, so I don't know. It just seems like... It's obvious... What the... Company is gonna make based on your return. Or what you bring to their company in terms of, like, unique customers. I hate Genshin. I've never played it. I have no desire to. I don't play many mobile games. I only play, like, a free bingo game, and I think it's fun. But it's- I don't pay any money into it, so it's, like, it's harmless. You know what else is harmless? Following the channel! Because Shatters, we are two hours and 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, follow the channel. You get cool follower emotes, and you get to type in chat. Ain't no way. And if you're already following, make sure you have notifications turned on. That way you get notified when I go live. Wowee. And this is gonna be our last green cookie, because after this one we'll have a dozen greens done. And then I think we'll go back to red, and then we'll finish with white cookies, because you know holiday. Or maybe blue. A blue with the red? That would look, like, patriotic, and that's not what we want, because it's Christmas. I always fill out the customer surveys. Like, you know, you get on your receipts or like, oh, fill out the survey and you can get a a hundred dollar gift card. I always fill them up, but I never win. I mean, granted, there's probably like hundreds of thousands of participants for like a Walmart survey. But I hope one day I win. Because the reason why they do that, those surveys, is to get like basically free, free market research. Because usually they ask, what did you buy? What store did you go to? What time did you go? How much did you spend? I mean, they could track it on their own probably, but... Just making it easier for them. The light keeps flickering in here. I don't know which one it is. Because there's like five ceiling lights above me right now. Or maybe they're all flickering at the same time. Or maybe it's all in my head. Or maybe it's my mask. Or maybe I'm blinking. I'm overthinking. <laughs> I'd love to get into, like, actual cookie decorating. Like, where people, like, make pictures. Or, like, the lettering with the icing. It's probably, like, super hard to learn and do. But the end product looks so cool to me. I also want to get into cake decorating, but that's a very expensive hobby to get into. And also, I don't need to be eating that much cake.
I failed the quiz, good job. There were some people who put some interesting answers from chatters I would not expect. Like seemingly wholesome chatters might have put some answers that were that could be considered devilish. Yeah, chatters, um, check the pinned message in chat, but let that survey take less than five minutes. Have it been naughty or nice? I'd appreciate it. You've already gotten a lot of submissions, somehow? Imagine people like me? Who knew? Last green cookie done. We are... About a quarter of the way done? Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna go back to red sprinkled now. And then we'll finish off with white. Gonna head out? Okay. Thank you for hanging out, Angie. It's a pleasure. We'll see you next time, hon. Does it sound nice? Oh, that's where we're really loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oopsie. gonna be doing something special for everybody who watches tomorrow's stream or not tomorrow fuck saturday's oopsie for saturday's stream of things I'm gonna do for Saturday because I have like four hours I want to fill 
But I wanted to do something extra to make sure, like, everybody feels included somehow for Saturday. I think on Saturday I'll be starting in the, like, evening, though. So I'll probably start at, like, maybe 4 p.m. on Saturday. Because we're doing Santa Watch, because we're going to wait for Santa to deliver presents. The red looks so much better than the green. So much more contrast. They kind of look like tiny pepperonis. This is what I imagine making miniatures is like. Did anybody ever use cookies as ornaments? I know some people make like gingerbread men and then hang them on the tree. I think I 
we did that one year as a kid. What if we only brought in two dozen cookies? Do they really need three dozen? I mean, we already busted one. <laughs> Should we do a little bit of scamming? I think the main reason why I'm getting faster with these cookies is because I'm doing the same design every time. Because the last few cookie streams we've done, I would do a different design every time. So I would like have to think about what I'm doing. But since I'm doing one pattern, I can easily, easily stay in the rhythm of it. I can kind of almost mindlessly place And it's not that I'm not enjoying it. I like tedious work like this. I like doing repetitive things. It's calming for me almost. Especially activities that take a lot of focus. It, it takes my mind off of other things. Like when I'm drawing or painting, I don't really think about anything.
Yeah, I was sending my friend pictures of the K-pops I made the past few days, and they're like, damn, that's a lot of work. I'm like, yeah. But it's still, like, fun to do. I think it's important for anything that you do, you have some semblance of pride in it. Meaning, you're enjoying what you're doing and trying to put your best effort in so you can look back on that experience and be like, I did what I could, I did the best I could, and I'm gonna look back on that experience in a positive light. It's just changing your perspective on things can drastically change your well-being and outlook. Because my friend was like, you didn't have to do all that work. They were like, you could have just bought in like... You could have bought in from bakery or gotten like cupcakes from Safeway and it's like... But the cake pops are going to be the talk of the town. You know? My sister is going to be like, my sister Megan spent 10 hours on these. And then all her co-workers are going to be like, wow. And then they'll remember her birthday more. Because <laughs> I think just the daunting feat of making 117 cake pops in one sitting. Or two sittings, because it took two days. <laughs> is impressive. I mean, probably not impressive to somebody who works in a bakery, because that's their job. But I think it's impressive if an individual does it on their own accord. Like, all the people who make pies for Thanksgiving or Christmas themselves... I think that's a very cool, admirable thing that they do. Yeah, there's probably enough pearls for one or two more red cookies.
be three hours. And six, nine, <laughs> 69. Plus 12, 9 plus 12 is 21. <laughs> Two funny numbers. We have 21 done. Getting there. It's about time we hit 21. You know what else it's time for? An ad. Because, chatters, we are three hours in the stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. If you want to avoid that ad, I gotta do subscribe for four ninety nine, just five dollars. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. And if you're new here, follow the channel, you get to tap in chat, and you get cool emotes. Wow, we four to ten. Fuck you. Why am I not getting any good transitions? Come on. Okay, get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. If you have to watch that ad, um, consider filling out that survey that's pinned in chat. It will be used on stream tomorrow. Cookies are looking good, though. I'm really happy with how they look. They look very nice. Okay, I also need to use the bathroom real quick. So we're gonna go into a brief emote only mode. But I will be right back, okay? And remind me to unmute when I come back, okay? If I forget. takes the icing to set because this one we did three hours ago and the icing is still kind of tacky hmm. and I think because I packaged it too soon like the icing like the peppermint ink bled
Hmm. We'll see. I mean, it probably... What does the package say? Oh, it says the icing has to set for four hours. That's crazy. Four hours? Okay, well, then I have to ice as many as I can. As quickly as I can. And then package at what? Probably like 6 p.m.? Dude. That's crazy. Okay, yeah, back to work. I gotta get some water, actually. No more time off to ask. We work for Amazon. <laughs> Man, it's gone. I think I also need to crush more peppermints, too. Because I don't have enough. Put it on the wrong way. Okay, I think I'm gonna smash some more peppermint real quick. I don't want it. We'll use the baby pieces. We'll just put like six baby pieces instead of four medium pieces. It's fine because I need the peppermints for something else. One year, I want to try and make peppermint bark. Thank you. 
I think one of the most annoying things with social media is how with like on IG or Twitter, how the default tab is not most recent. Like I hate when I see accounts that I don't follow or like recommended posts before the people I actually follow. It's genuinely aggravating. Because, like, I tried to disable the suggested post feed on IG. But it still, like, enables it. So I see posts that I don't want to see. Or when IG made the change, like, a year or two ago, where it would only show, like... Like, the top three most recent posts, and then it would be like, Oh, that's all! Like, you couldn't keep scrolling to see a post from, like, two days ago from somebody. It's so frustrating. Gonna hopefully watch bad? Okay, bye potato, thank you for hanging out. The pleasure is always on. We'll see you later. Cause like, I don't mind being suggested posts, but it's only when I want it to. Like, on the YouTube recommended page or like on TikTok, that's when it's expected. But if it's like a app where you scroll a feed, I want the most recent. I don't want suggested posts. It's like, I don't want nothing that an algorithm tells me to watch. I gotta ice it. Lamau. Has anybody else ever tried decorating cookies this way? I definitely feel like it's extra and aggro, but I think they look so pretty. Like, I think these would look beautiful for like a wedding or something. Like, if you did like silvers, whites, and golds. And did like a floral mosaic. I think that'd be really pretty. decorate cookies this way because whenever I search like mosaic cookies it's always like people making a mosaic with the actual icing not necessarily the sprinkle
for these like more chill crafting streams i know i don't necessarily talk as much but i think it'd be hilarious if one stream where i just like don't talk at all and then like three hours in i just say something absolutely crazy and then everybody watching will be like oh, peace out to guess but then vod watchers will probably not see it because like You'd have to sit through three hours of a stream where I don't talk intentionally. <laughs> I think it'd be funny. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. That'd be a good, like, April Fool's stream. Wait, okay, okay. Because, like, I know this year's April Fool's stream was, like, writing all my followers' names because that's what started the journal. Because, like, I'm, tr I'm trying to think of jokes, okay? I think another funny stream is for April Fools, I'm just, I'm muted. So like, I'm talking the whole time and then everybody's in chat like, oh my God, you're muted, you're muted. But then I just don't listen to you guys. <laughs> Dude, that'd be funny as fuck. And I'd be like, oh my God, I didn't have my chat room open. Oh no. And that's the joke. Holy. I think that'd be funny as fuck. There's a fly in the house. Uh oh. It landed on the star. There's been a fly in the house for like a week now. And it's never landed. It's landed on the star top of the tree. It sucks because like, all it takes is one guy to slip in the door when you're taking out the trash. And it's GG's. That would be fun. Yeah, I think that'd be a really good one-off bit. But now I can't do the joke because I told you guys. Unless you guys promise you won't tell anybody the joke. Or you guys might forget by June. Both work. We gotta go away! Ah! Stop! I see it in my peripheral. Or like another gag could be instead of being like super nice i'm just super mean but then i feel like that could get me like actually reported or something or like click be like this streamer is an absolute bitch to their chat room and i don't, I don't think that'd be a good look because you know the fucking centrist would be like even if it's an april fool's joke it's not a good joke Dude, i fucking hate the debate lords I'm a, debate, I'm a debate lord myself, but I know when to stop. Like, I'm not totally brain dead. I got six months to think of a good joke. Or another one. It would be, I would fake my death. And then on screen will be like a robot PNG tuber. And then I type whatever I want to say into like a voice generator. And it would just say it in like a robot voice. <laughs> but then nobody knows it's a joke, okay? Everybody has to think it's real. But then is that, like, even a joke at that point? I feel like that'd be too mean. Like, making everybody sad to think that I died. Talking about dying. I got a pop-up alert on Facebook saying, like, Oh, do you want to assign somebody your account and login for when you pass away? And it's like, bro, I'm 23. Hopefully that doesn't happen for at least, what, 60 years? Because, like, I think with Facebook, you can either choose to have Facebook just wipe your account when you die. Or you can give your login to a friend and then the friend posts on your account that, oh, they died, lamau.
But it's just like, damn, why is Facebook sending me this notification now? I rarely go on Facebook. I only log in to see, like, people's stories. But, like, I posted pictures of my cake pops, and then I looked, the last time I posted was, like, last year when I made my, sister, my sister's birthday cupcakes. <laughs> I don't post at all. Everything's private, so no, no need to find it. So. I think the people on Facebook are just dying. Yeah, because they're, like, all boomers. Or they're just not getting vaccinated and then they fucking die because they don't get vaccinated because the conspiracies they read on Facebook. So, I think they're just taking preemptive measure. Get vaccinated, guys! Exclamation V-A-X! Exclamation Vax in chat! Get your boosters! Get your flu shot as well! I got my flu vaccine this year and I haven't gotten sick. Yes, sir. Or no, sir! I have not gotten sick. Why can't they, like, figure out how to, like, have vaccines but in gummy forms? Like, I feel like every other pill or vitamin you can get in gummy form, why can't they have vaccine as gummies? Wouldn't the kids love it? How have we not found that technology yet? Or make it, like, a lollipop? Yeah, that's what I, 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 that's what I thought about once I said it. I was like, well, it has to go in your bloodstream. <laughs> Why can't they make gummies, but then put tiny, tiny microscopic robots inside the gummies that escape from your stomach to your bloodstream? Why can't they do that? Why can't they microchip it? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Vaccines do not have microchips in them. I think that's gonna be my million dollar idea. That's gonna be Meg Esports' next investment. Vaccines, but in gummy form. Mm-hmm. Okay, last red cookie. After this, we'll have 11 more left, I believe. Yeah, 11 more. <clears throat> and guess what? We are another 30 minutes in the stream, so it's time for me to tell you. If you're new here, follow the stream. We've already gotten two followers today. Ain't no way. So, if you follow, you get exclusive emotes, and you get to type in chat. Wowee! And if you're already following, make sure you have notifications turned on. That we get notified for when I go live. Hashtag free to follow.
I don't like that sound. I assume it's the music box, but I don't like it. I'm so excited for dinner. The enchiladas sound like so much fun to make. Because one time, I made them with like an avocado cream sauce. But it was like a bit too like... I made it too sour somehow. Oops. I think it's because like I curdled the milk or something. But I want to try and make like a cream red sauce. Because I got like the base red enchilada sauce, but I want to try and make a cream version. Yeah, I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how I fucked it up. I mean, that was like two years ago when I wasn't nearly as good at cooking as I am now, right? I'm a master. doing like cooking streams on TikTok like whenever I do meal prep or something but I don't like the idea of being live all the time but I feel like that's kind of a sad way to go through your life I mean because stream is fun because you get to hang out with people you get to talk to chatters and stuff but then it's like how much of your life is real quote unquote because no matter how much somebody streams, they always have like somewhat of like a different persona as they do IRL. It's not often you see people be just like how they are IRL as they are in stream. So that's why like... Because what's interesting about TikTok is now that they've launched the subscription program to most everyone, so meaning you people can pay five bucks to subscribe to your live streams meaning you can access subscriber only chat you can have exclusive emotes kind of like a switch sub but for tiktok lives and in order to for me to be eligible i just need to go live for at least in 30 minutes every week i think it said and like cool another revenue source but i don't know if i could commit to doing a tiktok live every week because i don't I don't know what my audience is like over there, really. Because I garnered a lot of my audience from one Mario clip that came out in March of this year. Because I, I gained like 1,500 followers in a day. It was crazy. Insane. So I usually gain about like 100 a month. Ever since that point, I haven't... I've, I've peaked. I've peaked. So I don't really know what my audience is like over there. Which clip was it? It was me talking about food drives. And there was like a lot of people being like, Oh my god, I was poor too. And then there were a few like debate lords. <laughs> but it, it popped off. It got a lot of comments. But um. Because I think cooking streams might do well on TikTok live. 
Or like a stream like today's where I'm like crafting. Like I considered co-streaming today. Like have my phone up here instead of the second cam. And do this on TikTok as well, but I don't know. I, I'm in, I'm super indifferent about co-streaming. Because props to everybody who does it, go for it. You know, get, gain those extra followers, gain those extra unique viewers, but if you're neglecting a part of your live viewership, then I think that's dampening the actual viewer experience. Because, like, I know if I click on a TikTok live for a streamer and they're like, Oh, it's just me sitting at my desk. Go, go watch the stream on Twitch. It, it just seems so, like, disingenuous to an extent. I understand it's good for follower growth. I understood it's good for getting people to the other platforms, but it just feels like so icky, icky to me. It's my ick. <laughs> What's the trend called? Like, like the ick factor or something? And I don't think TikTok would like that type of content either. Like you promoting another website, having people leave their app to go to another, that's kind of like I feel like if TikTok were really aggro about it, they would ban that type of content, right? Kind of similar to how Twitter the other day was like, oh, you cannot link out to IG or other social media anymore. Kind of like that. Because all social media apps are doing is they're fighting for everybody's live attention. They're fighting for everybody's active user base. Like, linking to another platform I think is fine, because somebody has to take that extra step to click. But... I don't know. It's just something I don't see myself doing, is what I'm trying to say. I know it would be good. Like, I have noticed ever since I post um, temporary go-live tweets on, like, Twitter... Um, TikTok and IG, I do get more unique viewers, so that works. Um, because not, I know not everybody has notifications turned on for Twitch. Because they do get kind of annoying. But, um, I don't ever see myself co-streaming at this point in time. Because follower growth is not my main concern. My main goal right now is to keep stream as engaging or entertaining for the people who do watch. And make sure that I have a good time along with the viewer base. Because once you lose that aspect of your creative process, then it all goes downhill. It's GG's no re. Okay, this was the last red cookie. So we are officially two-thirds done. Wowie. So two-thirds for nearly four hours. Not bad. Now I can do what? Because what is right? Hey, Kona. I'm kidding, of course. No jokes. <laughs> no jokes allowed. Nopers, no jokes.
Now wet time. white circles? Oh, there's some like, they're like a pinky white. I have a lot of white pearls. I have snowflakes. I don't like these as much because they're like hard candy. I like a soft sprinkle. I mean, these, these aren't for me. snowflakes just for a few and I have white pearls they're called cupcake gems Okay, these should go a little bit quicker because these snowflakes are like double the size of the circles that I used on the other cookies. Let's see, 342. My goal is five minutes. I like this pattern as much. But I think it's because I usually like designs that have more intricacy. But since these snowflakes are larger, it covers more surface area. It's still cute though. I'll show it on big cam once I'm done with it. These ones might actually go super quick.
It definitely looks simpler, but it's still, like, pretty. And they will go a lot faster because the sprinkles are bigger. So maybe we can get this done by 4.30 uptime. <laughs> that was supposed to be all? Yeah, I was gonna be like, why are you screaming? What did I do? This song oh, reminds me, always reminds me of the trumpet game. I don't know what it's called, but everybody was playing it like a month ago. Bone Champ? That could be it. I have literally no idea what the name is. But once I see, like, the characters, I would know what it is. I've never been good with names. But my visual memory is really good. I just realized with the white balance, you literally can't see anything on this cookie. Because <laughs> it's all white. <laughs> Little mo. look nice. 
Because they have like a touch of red. Wow, look at all these cookies we've made. And there's six more over there. Very nice. I need to rearrange my table a little bit. Because I need to get one more tray. We have nine more. Final stretch. It's so nice seeing the done cookies in the foreground. That's what I liked about yesterday's stream, like seeing the cake pops like on the counter. I should have just used larger sprinkles from the start. It's so quick.
quick. You know what else is quick? The ads that come at the top of every hour because Shatter Suite are about four hours into stream. So it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. But you can avoid that ad by subscribing for four ninety nine, just five dollars. Skip your coffee and get ad previewing all month long. And you have to watch that ad, no problem. Click the pin message in chat and you can fill out a brief survey that'll be used in tomorrow's stream. Wowie. Um, get some water, get a snack, we will see some of you guys in a few. After the ad, we're going to keep decorating. We have seven cookies left, so we are in the final stretch. They're looking good so far. Imagine they looked ugly. That'd be sad. I think it's funny how like for gingerbread house streams or if they're doing like cookie decorating for like, anybody doing it for content. I think it's kind of funny when they intentionally make it look bad. I don't know. I was raised in a way to, like, make sure everything you do is, like, good, presentable. I mean, it's fine if it's for a gag. For a goof or gag. I just think it's kind of weird. I think it's going back to the have pride in what you do thing. The final seven.
Another cookie broke. I think it's because these containers. It's because they're slightly sloped. Because it's like, it's in the container like this, so the cookies stack like that. So the one in the back always breaks. I'm getting scammed. But you know what? That means one less cookie to decorate. Mm-hmm. Loving the sound of that. Gotta go? Okay. Thank you for hanging out, Lemon. We'll see you next time. Get ready to spam. I was here. We're almost done.
It seems kind of silly putting the peppermint pieces on with tweezers, but I'm trying to like intentionally place them so like the red shard or red face of the shard is facing up. And I'm also like minimizing like hot because there's like dust in the bag too. It's like mostly dust. <laughs> so I'm trying to like not get any dust on it either. Three more, three more. This icing is almost out too. I think when we're done, I want to decorate a cookie just for me, so I can taste it. Cause I know peppermint is like a very overwhelming flavor, so I don't know how it'll be like, just as a topping on a cookie. I'm 
I mean, I'll obviously decorate one of the busted ones. Final two. I was thinking about the guy who was grilling a chatter for trauma dumping. And the original clip on Twitter got like 2 million views. And I think that just goes to show how people, in this case the streamer, will act. Even when there's a lot of people watching. Because 50 people is a significant viewer count when compared to like all the streamers on Twitch. Like imagine what this guy would- any guy, not this individual. But what any person says when they think they have nobody watching. That's why I think it's important to... With whatever online presence you have, even if you don't want to garnish a following, you have to be mindful of your actions and how you conduct yourself. Because one, you have to care about your reputation. And more importantly, you don't want to like... I guess hurt somebody's feelings. Because obviously, with that specific instance, the streamer invalidated what the chatter said. And then essentially shamed them publicly, even if it's just 50 people. That's still... That's like double the size of like a high school classroom. Like, it's not appropriate action to ostracize someone publicly. And that's a big reason why I don't necessarily engage with, like, kind of trolly or more negative undertone comments, like, in replies or, like, in TikTok for YouTube content. Because everything that I post is public. So I could, like, be snarky and pop off on somebody leaving... A rude comment or something that's kind of like not acceptable but it's not necessarily productive like you shouldn't quote unquote make an example of people Like, that's why, like, if anybody comes into chat, that's kind of sus. Or maybe it doesn't follow the rules, I usually handle it quietly. Like, sometimes you guys don't know or see it happening. Because I usually just delete or time out quietly sometimes. The only time you guys will know something happening is if I tell you guys, Oh, spit, what's... <laughs> we did it the other day. I was like, oh my god, what's your guys' favorite emotes? And then you guys will type it so it just gets the message off the screen. Because I think, in the big picture, handling things quietly for this specific instance is the way to go. Because you don't want to bring any more attention to the individual quote-unquote offending. And also, you don't want to make your other viewer base uncomfortable. Because, like, you don't want to have your chatters ostracizing that individual further either because then that just ruins the whole community that you built community i use use loosely i hate the word community but i mean like your core viewer base because when you're streaming no matter how big or small you are it's very easy to lose the faith of your viewer base because a lot of you viewers see you, the streamer, as a friend. And they will treat you as such. They will hold you accountable.
I'm also not saying it's right for someone to get hate braided or negativity. Because there's a difference between criticism and then going over to someone's chat to like instigate an argument or something. Going back to the main point, is it productive? No. Because obviously when somebody is facing controversy or criticism, they're going to get a massive influx of people saying the same thing. Making the same arguments against you. And it's just reiterating the same point. It's fucking annoying. So, don't be a debate lord. Easy. And you don't want to be the one commenter or the one chatter who pushes the streamer over the edge. Like, I've had to hold back a few times. Like, as a chatter. Like, if, in a, if I'm in a stream and the streamer says something I don't necessarily agree with, I'm like, ah! I get very close to typing and clicking enter. But then I stop. I think to myself, is this productive? Is this contributing to the larger conversation? And if I tell myself no to either of those, I just delete it and don't say anything. Because I think in general, extremists, you have to have a sense of, like, egotism in the sense of you assume that people will like you or people will watch your stream. Like, I know I feel it at times as well. And when you kind of question that ego or push against it, it might not be the most productive thing to do. It's different if somebody is asking questions or asking for critiques or criticism. But if it's unwarranted, just don't. Oh no! Wait, saved? Saved? This last cookie broke, but I pressed it together. Saved. Easy. Last cookie. Get ready to spam. I was here. Last cookie. Oh, please let me have enough icing. Please. I don't have enough. Damn. I milked it dry. I mean, I really wanted to go through, like, whole pouches. Or bust and open one whole pouch to ice half a cookie. I don't think I have another one open. Yeah, this one's cream. I only have- I have another one open, but it's cream cheese flavored. We can't mix flavors.
Oh, chatters, we are another 30 minutes into stream, so it's time for me to tell you. If you're new here, follow the channel. If you follow, you can type in chat and you get cool emotes. Wow. And if you're only following, if you're already following, make sure your notifications turned on. That way you get notified when I go live. Final Pearl. Get ready, guys. Final Peppermint Pieces. Okay, and we're done. 34 cookies iced and decorated. All ready for tomorrow. Let's go. Pokemon, let's go to the polls. Okay, so I want to try and ice one for myself just so I can try the peppermint. And I also got an ice one for my sister to try. But of course she's gonna want to eat one. Okay, I wanna try and use the cream cheese icing for me. This is from a few months ago, but this is for me, so it's fine if I eat it. Kinda stiff though. Taste delicious! That's what it says in the packaging. <laughs> Surely it tastes good. Oh, it's... The frosting and the tip dried. Oh yeah, this ain't... This ain't it. Might have to toss it. Oh, wait, hope oh. it works. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, majority of the frosting is dried. Because I think the cream cheese flavor is the best flavor. This is Betty Crocker, just regular cookie icing. I've been using white, but I think the cream cheese flavor is really good. But I know not everyone likes the cream cheese, so that's why I didn't use it. I don't care if the line isn't clean, I just want to use the rest of this icing. Hole too small on this nozzle. I 
There we go, much better. Okay, and my sister likes the softer sprinkles. She does not like pearls. This is just for her to like eat when she gets some, so I don't care if it looks pretty. Because she will eat just sprinkles out of the jar. I got so annoyed because I bought like this nicer sprinkle set and she ate like the whole fucking jar. I got so mad. Cause it'll it it's like her her treat that she sneaks at like 2 a.m. She'll just eat sprinkles. Pearls are so hard. I know. They look cute, but they're not like delicious at all. Okay, and then I want peppermint on mine. I have little scoops. I think the dust will taste delicious. Just sprinkles alone? Yeah, she's crazy. I mean, I <laughs> I used to eat like frosting out of the tub. That was what I would sneak at like 2 a.m. That was my thing. Oh, this looks kind of cute with just the dust on it. Oh, I just realized I didn't turn the second light on. Fuck. That's why Laddie looks like ass in the Uh-oh. Well, my outfit, I step on the corn? Uh-oh. Um, politely hold. I think I- I think I stepped on the cord. Omega oh, lol. Saved! Saved. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the better light. Very nice. Okay, so... I like, let me try the cookie, actually. This one is cream cheese frosting with, um... Peppermint shards. The peppermint dust is really nice. Because since it's not like a whole honk of peppermint, it's like very subtle. It's very nice. And I feel like this would be good. Like just the dust mixed into like icing. And then piped onto like a cupcake or something.
And these sugar cookies are slightly underdone. A little bit chewy, but it's nice. I want another one. <laughs> the peppermint dusting was surprisingly good. Okay. So, chat is. I think we can end stream here. Four and a half hours. 34 cookies made. Or decorated, rather. Pretty good. Very nice. Um. So I will be live again tomorrow. I'll post Twitter. Uh, fuck. I'll post pictures of the cookies on Twitter later today. Um. So, before I go, if everybody watching can make sure you're following the channel. If you're new here, click follow. You get exclusive emotes and you get to tap and chat and hang out. If you're already following, make sure to make sure you have notifications turned on. That way you get pinged for when I go live again. I will be live again tomorrow. With the naughty or nice stream. The long-awaited. Month-long wait for the naughty or nice stream. If you haven't already, make sure you fill out that quiz in the pinned chat message. By tomorrow, so do it right now. That way we can review everything on stream tomorrow. Um, so yeah. Thank you everybody who hung out today. I appreciate everybody who chatted, who lurked. It was fun. I think these cookies came out really nice. I, I think the uniformity is really cute. They look very nice. Okay. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. I'm Markiplier. Bye-bye. <laughs> it's such a stupid bit, but it's so funny. <laughs>